All right, hi everybody. I'm Victor Payan. And I'm Pocha Pena. We are two multidisciplinary artists from Southern California. Victor's worked on PBS documentaries as a humorist and a cultural critic. Pocha is a video artist, film curator, and was a Spanish language game show producer. We see the world through a lens of history, pop culture, spectacle, and humor. Our work includes public festivals, video, performance, graphics, improv, and exhibits often combined into transdisciplinary celebrations or extravaganzas. As well as a multifaceted Mexican wrestler project, a web series set in East LA, and our organization, Media Arts Santa Ana, which teaches free youth media classes and hosts film festivals. Our engagements also incorporate a sense of play and build toward catharsis rather than adversarial confrontation. As the world is getting more absurd, sometimes the best way to confront it is to master the tools of absurdity, what we call mounting a counter-absurdity campaign. We also conduct a form of creative advocacy based on performance strategies, which we call practical social practice. The goal of practical social practice is to use intervention approaches to affect long-term change through public policy. Through this approach, we worked with the City of Santa Ana to form an arts commission, a citywide arts master plan, affordable artist housing, and an artist grant program that has awarded $280,000. <clears throat> I served as chair of the Santa Ana Arts Commission, following that up with a run for city council. I quickly became a front runner and a massive target. My opposition spent half a million dollars in attack ads, including 100,000 from Malaysia. And I still came in a close second, out of six candidates. My takeaway, so much of politics is performance art. We've always been fascinated by the cultural and political conflict zones seeking to diffuse tensions and animosities through empathy, historical reenactments, and humor. We've learned that when confronting white supremacists, if you can make them laugh, they won't kill you. Our creative capital project, Dreamocracy in America, is a take no prisoners, transdisciplinary tour of the US that updates French historian Alexis de Tocqueville's 1831 journey through America that was the basis of his groundbreaking book, Democracy in America. De Tocqueville came to the U.S. to study its prisons and emerged with what many consider the definitive study of America's people and its democratic system. A notable quote is, the greatness of America lies not in being more enlightened than any other nation, but rather in her ability to repair her faults. While de Tocqueville did a great job of studying the country's Anglo-Saxons, there are a lot of folks he did not talk to. And that's where we come in. Picking up de Tocqueville's torch, Democracy in America will travel to the hotspots in the fight for democracy in states that did not exist in 1831. Our project will explore the birth of a new democracy informed by the work, of those hard, work of the, the work of those fighting hardest to create it. The desired impact is to inspire the use of humor and stagecraft in social justice activism to supercharge the efforts of marginalized populations. Through workshops and public performances, this project will impart our techniques to artists and activists in the communities we visit. We will also update Alexis de Tocqueville for the 21st century by creating an informational transmedia character, Alexa de Tocqueville. A gender fluid Latinx from the Amazon. Democracy in America will take place in three phases from now until 2024. First, we will create a podcast and a website to promote a national conversation around democracy. Second, we will develop a series of residencies in target communities on both sides of the 1831 U.S. border, such as San Antonio, Denver, San Diego, Arizona, and Oregon. In San Antonio, we will utilize the city's public access studio as a factory to engage our network of artists and activists in creating program to drive the democracy discussion, reaching potentially a million people. We're also fans of Glenn O'Brien's TV show, TV Party from the 80s on Manhattan Public Access and its tagline, the cocktail party that could be a political party. <laughs> we will create game shows with titles like Let's Make a Dream and The Voting Game. 
We will also build portable sets so that we can mount these game shows and bring the spectacle anywhere. In his book, de Tocqueville noted that Americans love games, observing that the whole life of an American is passed like a game of chance, a revolutionary crisis, or a battle. We will also have costumes for historical reenactments and incorporate spoken word and music. We want to work with dreamers in Denver, conjunto punks in Texas, Latino activists in San Diego, and Native Americans in the Northwest. Third, we will heighten project activity around the next two presidential elections with the intent to impact the national dialogue and invigorate voting efforts. The strategies and engagements we create will be modular, and we can bring Dreamocracy in America to your community for anywhere from a three-day to a three-month residency. We will continue these activities through the 2024 election, after which we will throw a big 4th of July fiesta to celebrate the survival or not, <laughs> of democracy. The project will be housed and archived on the dreamocracyinamerica.org website, including our podcasts, PSAs, and other interactive content. Our work has always been informed by the notion that freedom and democracy are fragile, and at no time has this been more evident than under the current administration. Concurrently, the headlines are full of communities mounting heroic efforts to defend their rights. We want to connect with them and help them win these battles. To accomplish this, we need to raise $80,000, and we're asking for help with the following. Cash and prizes, because it is a game show after all. This includes leads on grants and funders, residencies, media and digital partners, legal representation, booking agents and creative managers. Angel investors a motor home to serve as our on-the-road studio and production center, and a unicorn, because they said to ask for what you really want. They did, they did they say that. But really what we need is cash and prizes, residencies, representation, and an RV. So we invite you to join us on this road trip of reimagination. Together we can build a dreamocracy in America. <laughs>